John, uh, Marcy makes an important point, and we heard the, uh, it from Kate McCann there in that clip, and when she was outside, uh, the comments of the psychological trauma. It's huge. And it's, it goes against the natural order of things for your child to go missing or for you to even outlive your child if you don't know what's happened to them. It begins with panic, complete panic and a feeling of loss of control. You then have the fear, the anxiety. Um, while you're waiting to hear, you, you, you sort of go into a numb netherworld where you're just about functioning, reminding yourself to take the next breath. You then have terrible guilt about what could you have done, what didn't you do. Uh, you may in fact end up breaking up with your own partner because if, if you have the child together you may blame each other for that. There are all kinds of repercussions and, and things that people need help with at this point because they're not functioning normally. And, and you hear that word being used which sometimes can sound a, bit, a little bit trite but people talking about getting closure. Yes. Uh, because this is like a bereavement that's kind of suspended. Um, are you actually you know, grieving for somebody that is never coming back? Uh, no, because you're hanging on to the slim hope they may still be alive and be found. And, but yet, without knowing, without having that control element, without uh, having any idea what's happened or knowing what you can do, you're kind of left suspended, and that's a terrible thing. The feelings have no place to go. They just go round on themselves. Martin, I'm sure anyone listening to this will feel uh, and hasn't been through it will kind of ha have the sense of empathy of mm. this would be the most hideous thing to go through. Uh, I suppose what some people might question though is does the state have any role in this? Absolutely. We know that the police have an immediate role to get involved in finding the helicopters, the dogs, the search is very clear. But equally, it's their role to make sure that people who are left behind get signposted to the right resources. If your house is burgled, the state has a role to signpost you to victim support. And we do. There's a charter there for victims of crime. But if your uh, loved one goes missing, there's no equality or parity. And we're simply asking for an equal playing field for these families. D d are you saying that, uh, y that that would make a difference to these families? I mean, they're, they're going through enormous trauma. Absolutely, and there's nothing worse than going through trauma on your own. When you know that there are others going through the same difficulties, people who can talk to you about your situation with knowledge and expertise. We've heard from Donna how people can understand these issues because of their psychological insights. And so whether it's the emotional or psychological support, or indeed whether it's about being able to be helped in the search, and of course part of that is about the publicity that you can gain when you get that support. I think Martin touched on it earlier when we were discussing this. He said it's the reassurance from somebody else that everything possible is being done. T to know that has got to give you some shred of comfort to cling to. It's, it's hearing somebody else tell you that because you yourself feel so helpless, so powerless and you don't know what to do apart from sit and wait. Yeah, I, I don't want to turn this into a sort of big political kind of issue about cuts and all the rest of it but uh, th we, we are going through a time when police resources are being cut back. The number of policemen that may be out on the front line may be being reduced. Yeah. Should resources be devoted in this direction when people might say, you know what, I'd rather they were catching criminals. Well, of course, many people who go missing are victims of crime and so this is partially about that. But it's actually a cost-neutral solution for every police force in the country when someone's missing for longer than 48 hours to send an email to the family saying, this is where you can get help and support from the charities that are out there. And so, so just to be clear, this is not about uh, the, the state providing some kind of service for missing people. This is about pointing these people in the right direction where they can get the help that they might need. Exactly. The people that are left behind because they are as much victims as the person who is missing. And you know, families are the building blocks of our society. If they begin to shred and fall apart because of a missing person, then you've lost your community, your neighborhood, your, your sense of being able to live a normal life. It's so important these people get help and early. Donna, Martin, both of you, thanks so much for coming into the studio. Thank you. You're welcome.